because, you know, Blunt just had a lot of haters. He did all his business out of town, and motherfuckers in town didn't know what he did, so they just hated that he, he was uh, – he'd been – having five slabs at one time since he was 15, 16. Yeah, <laughs> since that young. Mm -hmm. For sure. Man, his first two slabs was a Benz on, on Swingers and a Yellow Canary drop on Switches. Hmm. And then he just he never stopped coming. He, kids, yeah, man. he never stopped coming. Like He would match both of them. Like, he had the bourbon when he came out and the step side at the same time. Hmm. So what he'll do, like, he'll come through before the club yeah. and kill you with the step side, then at the end of that bitch come back through in the bourbon. That's why he is truly the slab king, not because he, you know, Condre right there, he's a slab king too. Like, Who's Condre? Condre Graves, like he from, um, you know, from the hood, you know what I'm saying? But people don't, you know, people say like, who had the most cars? It ain't about who had the most cars, whatever this other boy Fish, Condre from North there. The boy Fish, from Fourth Ward, had motherfucking 200 slabs and that make him the slab guy. No, man. You ain't put no car together like Corey Blunt, bro. Condre did, but Blunt, man, it was detailed, bro. He was the first nigga putting European lights on Delta 88s and, you know, flipping it and making it look like wood strip. Like, this man took his Lexus to the Lexus dealership before they were putting TVs in the headrest. No fucking cap, man. And them people took a picture of that car, and next thing you know, cars start coming with TVs in the headrest. They did the same thing with his bourbon. Hmm. They used to have TVs down here on yeah. the floor. Yeah. They took a picture of this man's suburban, bro, when he took it in to get service, and now them hoes start coming in the head yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, for real, for real. Oh, shit. For real, for real. And man, he is that. You know, but uh, yeah, Pat had been in penitentiary with him in reality because he was in a car with him, not that he had nothing to do with the deal. He was just association and them federal laws and the crack laws we talked about earlier. That's just how this shit was. Yeah. And nigga was just really in them streets for real. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get out the mouth. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So Corey, so Corey Blunt go to jail and shit. Um, Fat Pat is dead. You know what I'm saying? Screw things still going. Tip, let's talk about the drink because we ain't talking about the drink. And tell me who is Pat Lemon because y'all got these infamous pictures, you know what I'm saying, with that red background and y'all just dressed up so player. And yeah. I'm like, I, I initially thought when I first used to see that shit, like it was a night at the club or something like that, you know what I'm saying? And then it was like, nah, this is Pat Lemon funeral. And I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. okay, this is like, y'all yeah. made that shit a big fucking deal, it looked like. Man, but you talking about. Let's just go to the beginning and shout out my nigga Poo Pop. That was who was Poo uh, Pop? I know uh, I heard Poo Pop is in the screwed up click. See, yeah. most like nine hundred nine thousand of the screwed up click members are not rappers. Yeah, they just screw friends. Yeah, and I hear the names. I heard Poo Pop yeah. before, but I, Poo Pop, I mean, he ain't rap, yeah, so I, I mean, ain't know. He from he from Third Ward. You know okay. what I mean, Johnny Demise, what up, boy? Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna like that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, yeah, he from the trade, so uh, that was his cousin. Hmm. And uh, Pat Lemon had a wife who used to work at the wholesale place, you know what I'm saying, like where the bar was made. I was already having cases. He was the first nigga with a jug. Hmm. And uh, she, uh, you know, he came and he was like, he was a, he used to work at an auto mechanic shop. That's crazy, because he got out of prison trying to hold a job down. And uh, he was like, man, Pupac brought him to me because I'm the only nigga that's moving bulk drink. Yeah. He brought a jug in that bitch. I'm like, bro, I ain't never seen this before, though. Like, it's like a fucking brown jug, like yeah. eight pints in that bitch, and you got to pour them out. And I'm like, I'm used to the bottles. And I'm like, I don't know if they can't read and see everything. Eight pints say, in the jug? Yeah, I don't know if they're going to buy this, bro. Yeah. So what we did was got like a whole bunch of baby jars. Like we came up with this shit, and we this is how we start selling foes. Cause back then a pint was a hundred dollars. Oh shit! Like I, a case was, I'm gonna be real, four hundred. I used to sell them for eight hundred, but I was telling you I paid six hundred. So fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, been hog, you know. <laughs> so I was paying four hundred for a case with twelve bottles in it. Yeah, you know I mean. Case of so I'm making twelve hundred, eight hundred off. You feel what I'm saying? Ooh. Like profit, but nobody's drinking like you think, though. Yeah. Like they drinking. What, but what year is this, though? This is what ninety three. 
Oh, that early. Okay. No, not 93. That's this is before 90. you do no, screw tape? No, this is, this is before. This is all during that. Because after I met Scoop Randy House, because they all buying drink. You know okay, I mean? okay. And I would go through screw highs and sell them niggas drink by how I got the drink I'm going to get to. So, and we at Pat Lemon right now first, though. So, and, uh, I'm like, no, this Pat Lemon is like 96, 97, like okay. right up in there. So it's like, I don't know, bro. We put all this shit in baby jars. And I say, man, okay, four of these baby jars is a paint. You know, nigga got it. I know numbers. I'm right. like, okay, so four out, eight out, sixty. Okay, all right, we gonna sell these bitches for fifty dollars a piece, and instead of making a hundred, we gonna make two hundred to entice niggas to sell this shit for us. For the foes going for fifty. So if I give you eight pints for eight hundred on the wholesale, you still got room to make four hundred more dollars on top of that. Yeah, just yeah. by you can drink for free, basically. Right. I created that that concept off of Pat Lemon. And I'm like, okay, this is what we're going to do. So that model, so him and Poop Pop went that way. And I kept the box because I had more boxes. And I tell you how in a minute. You know what I mean? It's just like they just had that. And he would get like one or two of those a week, but they were free. Yeah. So the only thing I can make you think about that is just think about like a motherfucker giving you $2,000 a day. Yeah. Five days a week. Yeah. With no re up, no nothing. It's just free money. Do what you want to do with this two thousand. We broke Brewster's million. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, you know that's what I call him. I call him that damn Pat Lemon Brewster Million, man. <laughs> that's what he had, a Brewster Million life right there, man. Yeah, but see, I had the I had the volume, the weight version of it though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So they used to hit the streets and go everywhere and they that's how I, Pat Lemon, you know what I mean? He was the drink man for shit show. Yeah. So what, so what? So what? No Pat drink. Him? When Pat made no drink for show, he was talking about me and Pat Lemon. So hmm. people always Spring ask me that. Love out here, drink man. Yeah. yeah when, they, when, when they when they when they asked me that, they like, who was he talking about? Me? And you was he talking about you? Or was he talking about what yeah. they talking about? Pat. We were the same. It wasn't like when you seen when you bought that from Pat, you bought it from me. Hmm. When you bought mine, you bought that from Pat. Like. The hmm. day he died, he went to his motherfucking wife house and he got shot in the head. I, we was New Year's Eve together. Like hmm. we just get together at the end of the night and then I he do what he so do. He got I killed do like what that. I do. No, he went back home and had to tell his wife, you know what I mean? Like I don't wanna tell that story, you know what I mean? But it's like, you know, jealous wife, she killed him, you know, in public knowledge, you know what I mean? Over some bullshit, you know what I mean? Another bitch calling phone type of Oh damn, okay. okay. Dumb shit. You just always hear about these names, and then you hear yeah. R.I.P. And it's shit. like, well, how they, who, he, who, who is it? How they die? You know what I'm saying? You know yeah, all this type of shit. Yeah, shit. but yeah, he was definitely, and he was our number one fan. Yeah, on the school side, he couldn't rap, but boy, you would think he can rap, man. You go this tape and you listen to his it, Gallon One, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, like, he, yeah. I, yeah. I'm having fun <laughs> in this bitch, man. Yeah. Like, cause he, cause we were his favorite rappers. Yeah, I love my D bitch ass voice, but that hoe ass Kiki can talk about them cars, man. <laughs> yeah, like Pat. You know what I mean? Like, he, like, he wanted Pat and Kiki to be. You know what I mean? Like y'all need to be friends, bro. Like you know what I mean? Like y'all need to be together. Fuck the feelings. Fuck at three in the morning. You know what I mean? Like it's the future now. Like this little nigga hiding. You the hot is. They know you coming, Pat. Yeah, yeah. They know you coming, boy. He hot, but you know it's always the second motherfucker that come that blow up the hardest anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, but um. So you were saying how you got to drinking all that shit? We ain't talk about that. Oh man, so we I'm running the shop. We go back, my brother in jail and uh my uh godfather, Mr. Hunt, is Mr. name Mr. Hunt. Leonard Hunt. That's my daddy's best friend. And uh he came to the shop checking on us. And uh I had the workers watching his car and I went and I'm checking the car, make sure they did everything. I'm going, I seen a paint. I told her we drank sweet beer and then we went to, you know, like, hey, what's up with that? I need me a drink when I leave here. He said, oh, you want one of them? Pop the truck. He had like five or six cases in that bitch. Damn. Get you one. He said, matter of fact, none of them boys don't be asking for none of this shit. He said, I leave a box of this shit. And the rest was history. Hmm. Yeah, town. Just stumbled upon the shit. 
mm-hmm. with family. Yeah. Ask him for, you know, bombing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He had it out. Like, real, real time, man. Mega plug. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mega, mega plug, you know what I mean? Streets, I already know what that is. Yeah.